From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Thursday, January 28th, 2016. In the news, a robbery occurred at a store in Chena Pump Plaza late Tuesday night. 19-year-old Brandon Lasloffy allegedly took a baseball bat and attempted to rob ETZ video. According to court documents, Les Loffy went into the store wearing a bandana and dark stocking cap. The owner informed police that he told Les Loffy he would not give him money. Les Loffy then lost his grip on the bat, enabling the owner to grab it as Les Loffy ran away. Later, he and a 15-year-old alleged accomplice were arrested. Several ideas on the use of the Alaska Permanent Fund earnings are being discussed in Juneau. Topics have included a possible constitutional amendment which would give voters a chance to have their say at the polls. The governor has sought to change how money goes into the permanent fund, use its earnings to help with the deficit, and alter the method of calculating the PFD. Senate Majority Leader John Coghill says it'll be a tough task to weigh the pros and cons of the governor's proposal. And Governor Walker says he wants the state and the North Slope's major producers to reach agreement on key contracts and issues related to a major gas project before the end of the current legislative session. If the parties don't reach alignment on these issues, he says he'll have no other choice but to consider other options for commercializing Alaska's gas. The comments came in a letter Walker sent last week to leaders of BP, ConocoPhillips, and ExxonMobil. Those three are partners with the state in pursuing a major liquefied natural gas project. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather to wrap up. Today it's partly cloudy, highs in the 20s. Tonight increasing clouds with lows 5 to 15. Tomorrow mostly cloudy, slight chance of snow, highs 15 to 25. Extended outlook, clearer skies on into next week, highs staying around 15 to 20, lows 5 to 10. Air index moderate in Fairbanks and North Pole, and the Aurora forecast is moderate. And that's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Remember, we're always available with news, sports, weather, and more on our KTVF website, webcenter11.com. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.